Now, Madam President, on another matter, later today, the Senate will consider two more talented nominees to the federal judiciary. First, we will vote to confirm the nomination of Dabney Friedrich to serve as district court judge for the District of Columbia. Next, we will vote to advance the nomination of an exceptionally well-qualified nomination nominee to the federal judiciary, Gregory Katsas, to serve on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit. After graduating from Harvard Law School, Mr. Katsas clerked for Judge Edward Becker of the Third Circuit and Justice Clarence Thomas, both on the D.C. Circuit and on the U.S. Supreme Court. He then joined the litigation group at a prominent law firm focusing on state and federal appellate litigation, including arguing before the Supreme Court. In 2001, Mr. Katsas became the Deputy Assistant Attorney General supervising the Justice Department's appellate staff of the Civil Division. The Senate later confirmed him by a voice vote to serve as Assistant Attorney General for the Civil Division, where he was responsible for overseeing hundreds of lawyers and some of the government's most complicated litigation. <clears throat> for his work, he was awarded the Edmund Randolph Award for Outstanding Service, the highest award given by the department. In a letter to the Senate Judiciary Committee, former Attorney General Michael Mukasey expressed his support for Mr. Katz's nomination. This is what Attorney General Mukasey had to say. It was my great privilege to work with Greg when he headed the Civil Division and argued many of the most difficult and challenging cases the department faced at that time. Greg worked tirelessly to defend the interests of the United States in court, whatever his personal views about them may have been. Former Attorney General Mukasey, who has also previously served as a federal district court judge, went on to say that it is Greg's character, temperament, and virtue that most set him apart and that suit him to serve as a circuit judge. There are many smart lawyers in Washington, probably many nice ones, he concluded, but I know of no others who have Greg's unique combination of legal skill coupled with humility, integrity, and good judgment. That high praise was echoed by many of the other officials who knew Mr. Katzlis while at the Justice Department. A large group of them wrote to the Senate Judiciary Committee supporting his nomination. Greg is an exceptionally talented and brilliant appellate lawyer. <clears throat> his commitment to public service and academic qualifications are impeccable. In addition, we can attest to Greg's thoughtfulness, temperament, and character. Furthermore, the group of distinguished attorneys who have, in their own words, worked with Greg or litigated against him in the Supreme Court or Federal Courts of Appeals or otherwise familiar with his work, penned a letter of support for Mr. Katz's nomination. We hold a broad range of policy and jurisprudential views, they wrote, but we are united in our view, based on our experience and knowledge of Greg's work, that he's highly qualified to serve on the D.C. Circuit. Once he completed his time at the Department of Justice and returned to private practice, Mr. Katz has continued to impress his colleagues with his legal skill and judgment his firm's managing partner wrote a letter also signed by partners from around the globe recommending his nomination. Here's what they wrote. Greg is a truly great legal thinker with a well-earned reputation for integrity, fair-mindedness, and respect for others. He's been a brilliant, conscientious advocate. They continued for the firm's clients in the Supreme Court and appellate courts throughout the nation in a wide variety of difficult, high-profile cases. Madam President, Mr. Katsas is an impressive individual who's well qualified to serve on the D.C. Circuit. <clears throat> I want to thank Chairman Grassley once again for his outstanding work in moving President Trump's judicial nominees to the floor. I look forward to confirming the nomination of Ms. Friedrich and advancing the nomination of Mr. Katsas later today. I'd urge all of my colleagues to join me in supporting their nominations. <clears throat> 